Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Exilia. I'm Kaito Yahiko and in the last episode we made it to, uh, what is this town called? Uh, I forgot. And in this episode we're gonna explore this town. Aren't they beautiful? Would you like one? All these flowers were handpicked this morning. How pretty. Maybe later. Um. Self-determination, self-rule, self-respect. Those are the three pillars of the Charla Charlatan Society. I know that's the name of the town, but I forget how you say it. Anyways, let's talk to you. City of Commerce. By the way, what's commerce? Uh, I know what it is, but I can't define it because I don't know what it is. <laughs> Let me say it real quick. And I'm going to run back over to the town, to, into the field here, and try and see what that boar is about. Uh, if it kicks my ass in five seconds, then I know to come back later. But for now, I just want to see Mila's friends. You're going to Femmont to save your captured friends, right? We heard from Jude. Friends? Oh, you mean the four. They're not your friends? Well, in a sense, they do help me accomplish the things I need to do. Then they're your friends! Just like us! We'll help you too. Everybody get a hand in! <laughs> to think I'd find myself on the receiving end of encouragement. Whoop. Hello, enemy. How are you doing? We can win this! Yeah, I'm sure we can. After all that grinding I did and beating Zhao, I honestly don't think I could lose to these fuck things. They're weak! Aren't you? You weak things. Should probably actually allocate the Lilium orbs or whatever the fuck. I'm just gonna spam up X. That's what I'm gonna do. Spam this. Kick, Jude! Kick! Kick all you can! Well done, Alvin. All in the line of duty. Naturally. Or I'll have you fired. Whoa, hey now. <laughs> Naturally. Or I'll have you fired. Ah, it's a hawk! Climb! Fuck you, hawk. Fight me now! Alright. Let's move on out. Pick up this. And move on. Move on. Let's see what that boar is all about over here. Ignore everybody, because you guys suck. Ah, trees. Jump. Nice. Alright. Ignoring the frog. Going straight through the wall. Alright, let's go. Let's see what's up here. What is it? What are you? Oh, it's gone. I wonder if it's a random thing. Hmm. Oh, hey. I didn't even notice this was here. It's because I ran away from the boar so quickly. Well, if I never see that boar again, I really don't care that much. Warrior emblem increased physical attack by 5%. Interesting. Uh... Hmm. Overall, it would just go down, though. How about somebody else? Eh. Whatever. Maybe it'll be useful. Never. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the boar is still not here. I don't know what was with that. But whatever. If it was important and I've missed it, too bad. I'm just gonna leave. Going back to Charlottetown. And we're going to explore. Kind of. I actually want to see if there's any like uh, good equipment or anything, since I got a bunch of that money. I want to go inside! <laughs> uh, let's see, what are you? Item shop. Uh, I should mention actually, I have I expanded the shops quite a few times, so 
Yeah. Do I have anything here that maybe silver ore? Why not? Yay! Okay. You want this mostly? You can go ahead and have them. Perfect. Whoop shop has new items. And discounts. Armor shop. You want these? Have those. And new items and discounts. Accessories. Insect husks and poison steers. Good thing I already did a quest and I don't need that anymore. New items and discounts. Alright, well, since you're just the item shop, I don't really care. I was hoping for more equipment or weapons. So, never mind. What are you selling? What is it? Oh. Okay. Well, I don't mind. It's not like it was that expensive. Alright, let's go this way, I guess. See what's over in this neck of the woods. Wow, what a huge city! I've never been anywhere like this before. Hey, there's too many people and it's super noisy. Well, considering you were in Hamel, I I could see why you'd be confused. Damn it, they got my cargo again. Getting my shipments through the military checkpoints is hard enough. If I have to deal with monster attacks too, I don't know how I'm gonna get by. I wish I could get someone to wipe out the hybrid monsters for me, but who'd want a job like that? I'll do it. You'll do it? That's great. I heard, I've heard the monsters live in the north branch of the Stra Sapstrath High Road. Good luck, and in case you get killed, you should know that I can't afford to pay for your funerals. Wow, thanks. Um, that's lovely, what thank you. What a splendid you. windmill. If Sylph were here, he would have helped me climb up on top of it. Windmill? Are those windmills? I guess. Okay. Well then, anyways, um... Armor shop. What do you got here? That'd be good, but... Headdress. Green ribbon. Headdress. Mm, whoops. Ah! Switch character. I think I just one would be good. Good. New items in stock. Discounts. Okay, bronze helm. I could use that, but it's not up yet. Go ahead and grab that. Why not? You can have that. No hats for anybody, apparently. No one likes hats. Iron guard. Why not? Chainmail, why not? And I should probably upgrade hers too, because she dies or she gets hurt easily. Perfect. Hello. Spirit climb here in Char <laughs> Sherilton is actually very arid. Nevertheless, the city is lush and green thanks to a large scale irrigation system that uses the windmills and channeled spirits. That's cool. What are you? Weapon shop? Let's see. I can't afford any of this, but I want that. <laughs> uh, okay. So pretty much everything here, stuff I can get, that's better than what we have. Just I can't afford any of it. Awesome. Accessory shop, what do you got? Mind ring, wisdom ring, stuff. These are cool. Uh, let's see. Leather cape, thief's cape. Look at all these stuff I can't afford. Leather boots, and these stuff. I had, I picked up one of these. Okay, cool. I guess I'll check you out later. Um, I, I'm gonna go ahead and look for the monsters, I guess, on the high road. And, um, take them out for this guy real quick, and uh, this guy. What do you need? Hey, are you... Can we help you? Uh, never mind. If you have something to say, you should say it loud and clear. 
you, uh, uh, I can't hear you. You need to speak more clearly. Wait, he might be. Okay. You look just like the criminals on the wanted posters. Do we really? I don't think they look anything like us. I was afraid of that. You actually recognized us from those awful posters? I can't believe it. You can get over it later, run. Oh. Okay. What happens if I go back over? I'll go back over there later. Um, for now, I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna go find the monsters, and uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna. I'll, I feel like wandering around for a while, so once I find them, I'll be. Got the video back in, so I'll be right back. All right, I believe I found them here, where the boar was, uh, the one that I ran away from. So, let's go ahead and fight them. It looks like a porcupine. It looks like a porcupine. Is it a porcupine? Tortoise. It's like a porcupine. Whatever. I'm gonna kick the djinn's asses. The wind djinn's. Whatever. It's a porcu turtus. Yeah, that makes sense. He teleported. It's teleported, so I'm gonna go for the porcu turtus. Isn't that how it works? When they teleport you away, you just go for the porcu turtus. Yeah. It's almost dead. It's not that strong, actually. I was like, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. Die, porcu turtus. You're like almost dead. Just stop farting. Thank you. Alright, wind gins. Kicking your asses now. Yeah, die. One more. Come on. Perfect. Yes, it is. Okay. Now that that's dead, um, I guess I'll just go back. I got that chest. Okay, going back. To Cheryl. Cher Cheryl. Cheryl. I don't give a shit. Alright. So, uh. Since my timer is a dick right now and didn't restart when I pushed the button, we're probably about three minutes behind. So, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and just go back over here and give that guy his stuff. Or tell the guy that I killed the monster. I don't know why he need the monsters up there killed. It's not like they're in the road. It's weird. You did it! Now I can finally transport my cargo without fear of monster attacks. But now paying your reward is gonna put me in even deeper in debt. If it's not one thing, it's another. A merchant's life is never easy. Emo glasses? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Emo glasses. Oh my god, why would you even want to wear that? Oh my god, do you see those fucking things? I don't want to make Jude emo. Where'd that child go? <laughs> okay then, that was weird. Um... Hey! Did that child tell you that we're the wanted criminals? No? Okay. Cool. Birds? Pigeons? It's weird that they don't run away. Can I go inside this building? I can. Oh, it's the inn. Oh, yeah, cool. Anything interesting in the inn? Those lanterns were left behind by travelers whose journey ended here. If it would be some kind of use to you on your journey, feel free to take one. A lantern? What? Okay. Hello, guards. An unknown monster has been spotted in Burima Gorge, but no one... Who has seen it has lived long to tell, much, uh, tell us much about it. All we've managed to gather from the victim is that the monster had a weapon growing out of its body. Oh. I probably shouldn't go fight that right now. It might just kick my ass. Well, I didn't want a room anyways. I'm gonna go to the inn or the house of that rich girl that we helped. So, I don't care. Is that the child? There's a bunch of qu Okay, what is, what is this? Did you hear? Taxes are going up again. They say it's for the good of the nation, but the only part of the nation that'll see any money is the army, of course. Lord Klein tried to oppose the king's new tax increase, but I guess even a lord from one of the six ruling houses is no match for a thug king. For that thug king. 
Notch... Notch girl. Notch... Notch... Fuck. The weather here in Sherilton sure is nicer than it is in Ajul. Did you come here from Ajul? We did. We came in through Sapstrath Sea Haven. Well, good on you for making it all this way. I bet going through that checkpoint wasn't much fun. Uh, it wasn't that bad. We used to be able to trade with Ajul freely. But now, with all these new regulations, it's almost impossible to do business. I've heard things are getting weird at Fort Gandala, too. I hear they're working on some kind of big-time spirit art. You think it's for war? It could well be. Between Rashigal and Ajul? But why? I'm sure you've seen how the King of Rashigal has been consolidating power around himself. While on the other hand, the King of Ajul is some great hero who united all of the tribes by force. Two strong rulers in two neighboring countries. It's only natural they'd start bumping against each other. There've been skirmishes, but we haven't had open war since the Battle of Fezabel 20 years ago. Hey, this could be the business opportunity of a lifetime. <sighs> I'm sure it's possible. But the people who got greedy during the last war were the first ones to die. Yeah, you're right. These new inspections have been pretty devastating to our business already. Hey, don't let it get you down. War isn't a certainty yet. War, huh? Dude, you look so cute with that dragon on your arm. But anyways, that'll be the end of this episode. Um, in the next episode, I guess I'll keep exploring the city. This is a pretty big city, actually. Or maybe it's just because I keep wasting time doing other stuff. But anyways, thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!